a yeah. shark doesn't appear. You never know when you're actually in the ocean. Actually, there was there was a moment that happened with one of those drone shots where I didn't know at the time until after we'd, we'd shot it and I went back onto the main ship. And they were like, oh my God, did you see that swordfish fly out of the ocean? And I was like, no, just, just so happens I, did, I didn't see that. But I can hear you, can you hear me? Yes, I can. I was just talking with Susan about your acts and I'm like, wait, she's basically, what is she doing in the UK? Like on a vacation or something? <laughs> like this girl cannot be British. There's no way. She's like I was fooled completely <laughs> watching this. I don't know how you practice that me. accent, but damn, that that's was well exactly done. What I wanted. That's exactly the response you always want when you're doing American accent. So thank <laughs> you. I really appreciate that. That's I had really no funny. idea. Then I had to go up, look up your IMDb like, wow, she's actually from London. Unbelievable biggest surprise but we get a lot of um american tv here so i've grown up with the accent watched a lot of friends a lot of friends well so. thank jennifer aniston and the crew i guess then for the impeccable the uh, skill set that you put out you know now on films so. oh thanks that's really sweet that's really sweet thank you you know i i appreciate this this all you had to go through the shark uh, stuff, the, the stranded out there just to get to this interview. You know, this is the kind of dedication I've been looking for in a woman, you know, going through shark moment, bites. And it's this beautiful moment that it's created. I mean, couldn't wish yeah. for anything better. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. That was a lot of fun. Uh, first of all, I was like wondering, I'm like, I'm thinking like the location looks so you're stranded in the middle of water, but I'm like, that looks so beautiful. And the way it was shot, I'm like, was this like a very fancy green screen with like a pool like they do in Hollywood or are you actually like in the middle of like this island type of place? No, we were we were on the sea. We were in the ocean at some points. We were literally, we filmed in Malta. So we were off the coast oh, of Malta. Oh, that's it's nice. It's a beautiful country. I, I'd never been before, but we spent like two months there. And oh my God, we were so lucky because it's just a beautiful place. So yeah, like everything you see in the movie is, well, apart from the shark, obviously. Well, yeah. <laughs> hopefully hopefully, yeah. hopefully yeah, there was no sharks i'm glad if there were i didn't know about it so that's <laughs> that's good because i would have freaked out but good, um, you're not covered in any scars or anything i saw last of you on screen no, you know no real scars no 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 <laughs> nothing like that but yeah we were we were actually filming on the sea so we were like in nature like wow. feeling it for real like in the ocean sometimes literally if we were doing a wide shot we would be stranded the five of us on a jet ski in the ocean like isolated because the crew would have to be like way far away so they weren't yeah. in shot i mean the we had like a city with us yeah. what's that sorry i'm like the landscape shots too some of the wide shots you guys have it's kind of yeah. bare you know you can't have like oh there's a crew guy there in the background or whatnot no, you so, can't have anyone there yeah. i mean sometimes there was like maybe a sneaky diver underneath because we had to have someone there just in case a yeah. shark did appear you never know when you're actually in the ocean these actually there was there was a moment that happened with one of those drone shots where I didn't know at the time until after we'd, we'd shot it and I went back onto the main ship and they were like, oh my God, did you see that swordfish fly out of the ocean? And I was like, no, just, just so happens I, did, I didn't see that, but um, I, I didn't know that that was there or even in the water with us. But yeah, apparently one flew like right behind us. I mean, I don't know if they got it in shock because I don't think that's in the film. That would have been actually pretty cool, but. <laughs> it would have been a cool one. I... It would have been a cool shot. They're like, damn it, we didn't get it in. We didn't get it on the shot. But um, yeah, so it, that was kind of luckily towards the end of the film. So I wasn't thinking too much before that about what was in the scene until after yeah, that. Yeah, because that could have messed with your mind too. Like, oh, there's actually yeah. stuff in here, no matter yeah. what, you know, it I'm could so pop out. Like big as well, swordfish. So I, I don't, I don't know. I didn't see it, so luckily. <laughs> Lucky for you, actually probably a good thing to keep it out of your mind, out of mind, out of sight, right? Especially when you're isolated, uh, it was like a wide shot. So yeah, we were definitely by ourselves out there. So that would have been quite a scary moment if I'd have seen that. Oh, but um. Other than that, I didn't, I mean, we were doing so much. We were felt we were doing like the stunts, we were in the water, we were on and off the jet ski. Like there was so much going on that I didn't have time to think about what might be underneath. Yeah. I think was a good thing because I I probably, you know, once you get it in your head, you start thinking about it. You, you know, you then you you start freaking out, but luckily I didn't have time. So good. good. So was, yeah. How deep was that water, though? I'm, I was curious about that, too. Like, how deep was it where you guys were shooting in the locations? Was it actually pretty deep or shallow? Or I think it was deep. I'm pretty sure. So it might have not been that deep. Maybe it was <laughs> Maybe the other guys were just pretending. No, I think it was uh, 
I think it was pretty, I think it was pretty deep where we were from, especially when we were in the like further out into the ocean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it kind of had to be because we were doing the stunts there, you know, you have to have that deep water because otherwise it's, it's kind of dangerous. So mm -hmm. yeah, we were doing stuff like where we had to be dragged through the sea, like attached to a rib boat, you know, being flung off, moving jet skis, things like that. It was amazing. It was <laughs> wow. Amazing. You're like CGI without CGI, you know, just actually the stuff, the movie magic, right? And lucky I got to do most of it. I mean, I did have amazing stunt doubles as well, especially for like the massive crash. I don't think that's a spoiler. I think I can see it. I think it's, in yeah, the it's yeah. Something <laughs> gets you there, right? <laughs> yeah. So there was a massive crash. I didn't do that because I think that would have been out of my element. But I got to do so much and it was such a physical role. Like I knew it coming into it, but I don't think I expected how much would be in the water, like 12 hour days in the water, like getting bruises on our legs, like things. I, yeah. I, I, another concern i was like thinking outside of a box here like i'm wondering for all of your guys say i'm like as great as you look in a bikini fantastic but mm -hmm. did you get sunburned because i'm like imagining you guys are in the sun that sun's real you know did yeah, you have yeah. a lot of sunscreen hopefully and My all that we had factor 50 on every day we were lapping Good. that stuff up because you know you got to take care of that skin that skin you know in fact sunscreen is important this is something yeah. that i'm learning i think everyone's learning now that we have to wear a lot of sunscreen but a lot of that i think they put a lot of like sunburn makeup on us because obviously we which have will look great because like i've seen shark movies before i'm like because you're like stranded out there you know it's happened but, like they're never burning but i'm like oh this is i noticed that right i'm like oh yes the skin's yeah. turning really red i'm like that would be very realistic i'm glad they put that in bit tomato and you know, yeah. getting, getting the dehydrated lips. So that, I know, that, I, that was, was a good one. That line, I yeah. like that too. Like making notice, like, hey, this is happening here to us, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luckily not for real, it's all makeup, but. <laughs> well, yeah, but at least, you know. I that transition and like see, you know, as as the time progressed for these, for these characters to see what it would be like if, say, I was stranded on a jet ski, hopefully that never happens, but the, yeah. that is the physical transformation that you would go to, you'd get tired, you'd get dehydrated, you get sunburned, I mean, yeah. And not it's drinking that salt water. water. Another good point by you. Your, your character is so smart. Like, she just, like, as if she's done this before. It's like, you know what I mean? Yeah, I've yeah. done this before. Don't drink she salt water. It, along. it was all part of her, her <laughs> evil plan. No, I don't know. She, yeah, she's pretty, um, she's a pretty smart character. Yeah, I, think that's she what was. I mean, she's, like, really sweet and sensible, and she doesn't want to do anything wrong. She doesn't really want to take the jet ski. She knows it's bad, but she, like, wants to be part of the cool crowd and she's trying to fit in but then I think she kind of comes into her own you know as the as the film progresses and yeah very much so happen, like she takes everyone under her wing and kind of yes. <laughs> like I said that's that she's like a MacGyver you know what I mean like really figuring yeah. things out like you know dealing with the people there too I mean you'd imagine like I thought about that too like if you're stranded with someone, even these are your friends or not like, and you're all in a panic situation, like you start feuding and fighting and arguing, you know, like just keeping a level head would be like something really important to do. So hard. I mean, I guess we all don't really know how we would respond in that yeah. situation. Like, I don't, I don't know if I was actually like on a jet ski, if I would be that level headed, you just don't know how you would react with that adrenaline going on. Luckily, she was someone who was like, yes, guys, this, we've got to do this. Okay, let's stop talking about that. Let's do yep. this. Go, go, go. Time is of the essence. Let's get it done. I like to think but, that I would be like that, but I don't, I don't know. You never I'm, know. The, the panic could get the best <laughs> of you. You know what I mean? That's like human, human kind of in the wild. You never know what's going to happen unless you're put in that position, you know, mm -hmm. in like a position that you've never been in so it, it makes you think like i'm now legitimately kind of thinking twice if i'm ever gonna jet ski <laughs> you know what I mean? Hello, I just... just getting so fun i've never jet skied before doing this film oh really I... this was your first time first time on a jet ski oh. I love it i would go on again even with the film what happens <laughs> i would go again maybe not i would be more careful than that. i probably wouldn't go on it after a night of drinking that's bad right. Don't do that. definitely not um but yeah jet skis apparently super fun who knew like I loved I loved it like there getting to be, getting to ride it and like there would be shots that we'd have to do where I'd have to like maneuver it around and place it just in front of the camera so that it's in focus so that was quite tricky and then start crying on on cue after like doing this whole I don't know maneuver mm -hmm. so those were like the challenges on the jet ski like, things like that having to 
having to maneuver it and then stop in that right place with the swell, like moving the jet ski back and forth so the camera gets you and then like, and cry. And you're like, <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, by the way, it's my first time being on a jet ski, but yeah, I'm going to be doing yeah. tricks and all that, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, doing the tricks. So yeah. fun. Love this was like a vacation for you in a way too. I mean, you're filming, you're working, but man, you're getting to ride jet skis. You're kind of hanging out in a beautiful place, right? I mean, that's kind yeah. of fun too, right? It was so fun, but don't get me wrong. It was really hard as well. It was like a really challenging physical role. Like I'm not, I mean, I'm a good swimmer. I would say I'm not amazing like I mean that's pretty good she's diving she's I had I looked, hadn't done a dive before I, I had to learn to dive like properly oh. definitely did a few few pancakes there at, at some points but uh, yeah I had to learn to do that and you know be, just being in the water for 12 hour days is yeah. really tough like you know it's fun going for a dip and you know everyone wants to be in the water when it's hot but when you're in like not wearing very much wearing a bikini it can get cold pretty quickly and also because it's an island, the wind picks up really quickly. So ah, suddenly the elements right. start, start changing. And that's a cold breeze always from the water, you know? When, when you're drenched, yeah. If you're dry, it's fine, bit of wind. But as soon as, like, you know, your hair's wet, whew, it can get cold. It can get cold. But See, um, we got problems we don't know about. That We watch the movie, we worry about the shark, but there's actual things. There that are, are things you know. Going on. I know, but it's, it's all part of the challenge of it. I mean, I love a challenge when I take a role on and... I think when you're doing a shark film, you want that element of uncomfort. Otherwise, you know, you get a little bit too comfortable on your skin if you're just sitting on a jet ski, you know, you start to relax a little <laughs> bit. I'm like, oh, I'm in Malta. But if you can feel the cold and you can use that and sort of have that in your performance, that kind of energy, it mm -hmm. always helps. And yeah, oh, well, I find it helps anyway. No, I think it makes sense. It adds to the reality of it. You're actually cold and shivering, you know, so yeah. it plays into the, the situation because you're in an uncomfortable situation, you know, on screen. So yeah, I could imagine that's a good thing to draw from. Yeah, yeah. Well, you did, my <laughs> you, you did a very believable and fantastic part. I love movies where like you literally at the edge of your seat and like you can't even go to the bathroom or pause it to like get get something oh. to eat because it's like it's happening constantly. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, the, that's so good. I love that. Thank you. Yeah, there's stuff going on constantly in this film. It's all, it's all happening. You got a bit of every, there's a bit, of, a bit for everyone. Stuff yeah, I think so too. And it's like, you know, it's got a nice summer vibe, at least in the beginning of it, you know, before yeah. shit hits the fan. It's kind of fun. Okay. Like, oh, yeah. it, it reminds me of the fun days of going on vacations, which I haven't been on myself for years, you know? So I'm like, oh, I'm, no, you need to get yourself on a vacation. Get out there. No. Oh, it's been like five yeah, years. Seriously, yeah. I'm like a hermit or something. I don't know what happened to me. Uh, go on, you need a holiday. Go now. Go tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks for inspiring time. me. <laughs> I'll come with you. I want to go on holiday again. <laughs> there you go. Hey, before I let you go, I, I've been doing this fun thing. So I got a book of useless information right here. Okay. You want to learn some fun, useless real life facts? Absolutely. love a bit yes. of that. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to have you pick a page. There's 182 pages. Pick a random page. We're going to learn whatever's on there. I'm going to go for 25. Okay. Nice, yeah. you know, solid number. Haven't had that one. Oh, interesting. Okay, so these are real life facts. The longest snake ever captured measured 24 feet. Wow, that's another movie. That's literally like shark bite. This is a snake bite, probably. <laughs> I mean, a snake bite. Snake 24 feet. <laughs> yeah, I would be terrified of that. Somewhere in a jungle <laughs> taking place, right? God, I don't need to know about that. I, I'm scared of things in the sea. I don't need to be scared of things on land as well. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we need to make that. That's a, lot, a little bit less scary here, but interesting. The oldest known vegetable is the pea. Ooh. I didn't know that. Wow, that's the oldest known vegetable. Who would have thought? So how do they? Who, who said that? Where have they? Who, who's I been don't living know who discovered this, this like, or how they measured it, but apparently this is true. And tomatoes, cool. tomatoes and cucumbers are fruits. What? I had no idea. I did know that, say. You did? I had yeah. no, I always thought vegetables. Like for sure, the first vegetables come to mind, tomatoes and wow. Okay. I think it's something to do with how they grow. If they grow in a tree, it's a fruit. If they grow from the ground, it's a vegetable, I think. Oh my God, I'm going to be totally wrong. Someone's going to put me up on that and be like, what, you're talking rubbish, Holly. But uh, I think it's something to do with that, yeah. Interesting. Okay, two more. Uh, there's a house in New Jersey here in the States where 
you could easily play, you know, pretend to be from what's your accent, um, built in the shape of an elephant. Wow. A house built in the shape of an elephant. My favorite animal. Love it. Oh, there you go. A yeah. house in Oklahoma shaped like a chicken. Wow. And there's a house in Massachusetts made entirely of newspaper. That is insane. That's cool. That is cool. I hope it doesn't rain though. <laughs> yeah, that would be bad. Maybe they've got some like waterproof. I don't know. But this is what I want to come to America and do a road trip. I need to hit those spots, see those. Yeah. Uh, this is literally coast to, to coast, coast kind of a thing. Yeah. And but but before you do that, the final fact in a lifetime, the average American, uh, so you know, that's not you, blame it on us, spends eight years watching television. Jesus. I mean, that sounds like me as well, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know about just Americans. Like, I watch a lot of television. Eight years yeah. of television. I mean, yeah. maybe this is true, probably. With all the binging now that's going on and all the shows, people are just glued to, like, a whole season in one night, and it just keeps on... I could see this was, being true. I was doing that it's probably from lockdown alone that we've, we've <laughs> had those numbers and got up to eight years. I mean, I spent most of lockdown, like, binging a lot of stuff, and then suddenly... Because we filmed the film during, like, in November on that year of lockdown. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I literally went from being at home for months and then suddenly it was like, get the cool, you're on a plane to Malta, going to be filming on the sea. And I was like, yes, this is exactly <laughs> what I needed. Good timing. Wow, Good to get timing. away from that when we're all cooped up. Yeah. No, I was very lucky. Well, it came out good. It came out good. You did an awesome job. You convinced Thank me you're you. an American. So, you know, <laughs> uh, very fun, very fun all around it. And scary too. You don't want to ever want to be in that position. It's also a lesson, you know, be smarter when you're doing these things. Don't drink before jet skiing. You know, no. there's messages to be taken. Yeah, be smart. Don't drinking before jet skiing. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. And, you know, think about what might be in a water before you go out too. You know, yeah. that could be. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see what's next for you, Holly. I, I'm a fan. I'm going to be following you now closely and then hope to catch up again with you. You're a lot of fun to talk to and watch. Oh, thank you. That's really sweet of you to say. This has been really fun. I loved it. I love the facts. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You see, we learned. So I learned at least more. Uh, learned I didn't so even know it. tomatoes were fruits, you know, so there you go. There you go. Thanks All to right. you. <laughs> Thanks so much, Holly. Have a great one. You too. Bye. Bye. -bye.